Leo Tolstoy was one of the world's preeminent writers becoming famous through his epic novels War and Peace and Anna Karenina. War and Peace has been ranked as one of the greatest novels of all time, for its rich characterization and sweeping view of Russian society. Tolstoy also became a leading critic of injustice, formal religion and the inequality of Tsarist Russia. While critical of the church, he believed in the essence of gospels and espoused a form of primitive Christianity. In politics, his exposition of pacifism and non-violence had a profound influence on others, most notably Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Biography Born in 1828, Leo Tolstoy came from an aristocratic Russian family with links to some of the most powerful Russian families. He was the fourth cousin of Alexander Pushkin. In his early life, he struggled with his studies and drifted through life ending up with large gambling debts. Fed up with his aimless and empty life he volunteered to serve in the Russian army. However, these experiences as a soldier led him to become a pacifist in later life. He wrote his battlefield observations in Sevastopol sketches, and this raised his profile as a leading Russian writer, gaining the attention even of the current Tsar. Tolstoy had a deep interest in seeking a greater understanding and justification of life. He traveled widely through Europe but became increasingly disenchanted with the materialism of the European bourgeoisie. He could be argumentative with those he disagreed with such as Turgenev. He also developed an increasing sympathy with peasants, the poor, and those downtrodden from society. He went out of his way to help and serve them. In 1862 he married Sofia Andreevna Bears, 16 years his younger. This marriage provided a degree of stability out of which Tolstoy wrote his great epics War and Peace and the novel Anna Karenina. War and Peace is breathtaking in its scope, realism and sense of history. Some characters were real historical people, others were invented. It tells a narrative of two families set against the backdrop of the Napoleonic Wars. Tolstoy never saw it as a novel but an epic. Amongst other themes, it suggests the necessity of making the best of life, whatever your situation. Religious Views of Tolstoy After writing War and Peace and Anna Karenina, Tolstoy underwent a change of religious and philosophical attitude. Influenced by Buddhism and Jesus Christ's Sermon on the Mount, he developed a belief in spiritual renewal based on service to the poor and direct relationship with God. He noted his attitudes in The Kingdom of Heaven is Within You and Confessions. His religious views could be described as an early form of Christianity, based on the direct teachings of Jesus Christ, but without the external edifice of religious institutions and myths such as the Holy Trinity and Eucharist. Tolstoy felt the power and influence of the Church diluted the spiritual essence of religion. Due to his criticism of the Orthodox Church, he was excommunicated from the Church but his legacy as a writer and unique thinker was enhanced throughout the world. His philosophy began to attract disciples, and idealistic Tolstoy communes began to form. Political views. His religious views also had a direct impact on his political views. He was critical of injustice, greed and the inequality that tended to dominate Tsarist Russia. He developed a pacifist, anarchist philosophy, and became supportive of civil disobedience to improve the welfare of the oppressed. However, his criticism of the Tsar and Russian class system meant the government started to spy on Tolstoy. He was too internationally famous to directly challenge him, but Tolstoy's strident criticism of the aristocracy was worrying for the authorities. Life and Death Tolstoy was interested in the meaning of life and death. During his own life, he witnessed the painful death of his brother from tuberculosis, multiple deaths in the Crimean War and a public guillotining in Paris. He wrote on this theme of death in his short novel Death of Ivan Ilyich. He completed the book in 1882, but it fell foul of Russian censorship and it was not published until 1886. It is written after his religious conversion and touches on the distinction between what gives life value, sympathy, concern and love, and the artificial life of social climbing and outer material displays. Friendship with Gandhi In the evening of his life, he developed a close relationship with a young Mahatma Gandhi. Tolstoy had written an article supporting Indian independence and Gandhi requested permission to republish it in a South African newspaper. This led to a long correspondence where the two wrote to each other on religious and political matters. Tolstoy wrote to Gandhi. Gandhi was very impressed with Tolstoy's belief in nonviolent resistance, vegetarianism and brand of anarchist Christianity. 
Gandhi later became a preeminent proponent of nonviolent resistance and credited Tolstoy with being a major inspiration in his religious and political outlook. Death of Tolstoy On 28 October 1910, Tolstoy left his family home outside Moscow, leaving a note to his wife saying, I am doing what old men of my age usually do, leaving worldly life to spend the last days of my life in solitude and quiet. However a few days, later he was taken ill on a train passing through a remote Russian village called Astapovo. Suffering from pneumonia, Tolstoy was taken off the train and looked after at the station master's house. His final days created worldwide media interest with media outlets sending reporters to cover whether Tolstoy would recover. However, his condition steadily worsened and he began slipping in and out of consciousness. On 7 November 1910, he passed away. Leo Tolstoy quotes. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. All happy families are alike, each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way, Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. If you look for perfection, you'll never be content. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. It is amazing how complete is the delusion that beauty is goodness. Leo Tolstoy, The Kreutzer Sonata. I think. If it is true that there are as many minds as there are heads, then there are as many kinds of love as there are hearts. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. He stepped down, trying not to look long at her, as if she were the sun, yet he saw her, like the sun, even without looking. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. Respect was invented to cover the empty place where love should be. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. We can know only that we know nothing. And that is the highest degree of human wisdom. Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace. If, then, I were asked for the most important advice I could give, that which I considered to be the most useful to the men of our century, I should simply say, in the name of God, stop a moment, cease your work, look around you. Leo Tolstoy, Essays, Letters and Miscellanies. Only people who are capable of loving strongly can also suffer great sorrow, but this same necessity of loving serves to counteract their grief and heals them. Spring is the time of plans and projects. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. If you want to be happy, be. Is it really possible to tell someone else what one feels? Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. Nothing is so necessary for a young man as the company of intelligent women. Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace. In the name of God, stop a moment, cease your work, look around you. A quiet secluded life in the country, with the possibility of being useful to people to whom it is easy to do good, and who are not accustomed to have it done to them, then work which one hopes may be of some use, then rest, nature, books, music, love for one's neighbor, such as my idea of happiness. Leo Tolstoy, Family Happiness. Rummaging in our souls, we often dig up something that ought to have lain there unnoticed. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. When you love someone, you love the person as they are, and not as you'd like them to be. Free thinkers are those who are willing to use their minds without prejudice and without fearing to understand things that clash with their own customs, privileges, or beliefs. This state of mind is not common, but it is essential for right thinking. The two most powerful warriors are patience and time. Be bad, but at least don't be a liar, a deceiver. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. Wrong does not cease to be wrong because the majority share in it. Leo Tolstoy, A Confession. I've always loved you, and when you love someone, you love the whole person, just as he or she is, and not as you would like them to be. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. Love. The reason I dislike that word is that it means too much for me, far more than you can understand. All the variety, all the charm, all the beauty of life is made up of light and shadow. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. The strongest of all warriors are these two, time and patience. Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace. Anything is better than lies and deceit. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. If everyone fought for their own convictions there would be no war. Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace. A man can live and be healthy without killing animals for food, therefore, if he eats meat, he participates in taking animal life merely for the sake of his appetite. And to act so is immoral. I always loved you, and if one loves anyone, one loves the whole person, just as they are and not as one would like them to be. Leo Tolstoy, Anna Karenina.